Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cole, and in today's video we're looking at this LEGO Speed Champions transporter mock that I have built. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can build it. So this model was actually inspired by Hot Wheels truck, which is this little one right here. Known as Aero Lift is the official Hot Wheels name, as you can see right here. It's a very cool looking truck, and basically it's a just a mini version of this truck. Now, it's not an exact replica, but it is pretty close, and it, most of the inspiration from this truck came from this truck. Um, basically, I think it's a Japanese market style truck, judging by the front, I'm not sure if I'm right there, I might be horribly wrong there, but that is my uh, like guess, I suppose. But basically, it has a bed that folds off like that, and it comes back on like that, and then you can put a car up in the back, which is very cool. If you have Hot Wheels cars, you've probably seen um, one of various Hot Wheels designs like this with the working bed on the back, which I always find very cool. And so I've made a Lego version to transport your Speed Champions cars around. Now, in today's video, I'm not going to go over a lot of details so because the tutorial is coming right after I'm done talking. You can skip ahead if you'd like to see the tutorial, but because I'm going to be um, having a tutorial, I'm just going to keep talking short so that way um, it's not a horribly long video. Basically, in the front here, we have a slightly different design that is very similar to that uh, aero lift model right here. And it's using these wedge plates for the headlights and the grille, which I think gives it a very nice, uh, I don't know, different look. It doesn't look like most other Lego City style trucks that you would see. Um, it has an interior that would fit three minifigures, except that the roof is too low, so it doesn't actually fit minifigures. I like the way it looks, so I don't want to um, modify it. But if you want to modify the roof to fit minifigures, um, you can. And then there's like there's already like jumper plates down there for them to sit in. From the side, we basically have the side skirts. We have like the cab. As you can see, it's not really a whole ton going on. It's a pretty simple model. We have a big light bar and a very low like ground clearance, and it's basically the only unrealistic part about this truck. Um, or like exaggerated part, I suppose. It's exaggeratedly, is that a word? It's very low and it's very bright, I suppose, with the light bar up on top. And I think it looks really cool. Now this one is built in all black with the yellow stripes on the rear. I think it looks very cool. Around the back, we have the exposed rear wheel thing. So that way the ramp can come down, which I'll show you in a minute. And we have some tail lights in the back here, which are gonna be kind of hard to see considering how low they are, but nothing is blocking them. So in theory, you should be able to see them if you're behind the truck. Now you'll also note that there's a massive overhang um, of the rear here. And that's basically what I had to do to fit any cars. Here's my Koenigsegg Yesco mock, and it just fits on there. And this is one of my shorter cars. So you can extend the bed as much as you like. It should hold on there pretty well. But yeah, it kind of has to be this long to actually fit curves on it. And the Hot Wheels version is actually even longer, I think, like in comparison or relatively, something like that. So basically the way this operates, because obviously you kind of want it to operate like the real Hot Wheels version. But basically, um, also I should point out, we have this little winch up here, which is non-functional, but if you have a real Lego winch, you can replace it with one. And that way you can actually pull the car up onto the truck. But basically how I've set it up is that this lever right here controls a small lock inside of this. Cause right now if I move it around, it's not going, it moves a little bit, but it's not really going anywhere. So that way your car doesn't fly off when you're driving it around. But if you flip this little switch up, which requires a little bit of force. So that way you do not have to, uh, act, you don't accidentally uh, unlock it. Basically you can then push it off and it just kind of slides right off and down and you keep pushing it until it hits the ground like that. And then you can drive your car up. Obviously if we look at the back here, bring this forward a bit. Um, this is actually one plate tall, so it's gonna be very hard to drive any supercars onto this ramp, um, no matter how, like, wh whatever you do with them. So, basically, you have to lift it up on there, and you can drive it up, and then most cars will roll off, so you probably kind of want to hold on to it. You can hold, put it back up and slide it back on, and then once it's back on, you can push this little switch down, and then the car is loaded. Obviously, you might want to, like, use some plates to actually hold it on there so it doesn't roll around while you're driving it around. But I think it looks pretty good, especially with the all-black Koenigsegg Yesco with the all-black truck. And I suppose that's it for the um, details and features. So now we'll go on to the tutorial. But if you'd like to see more, I'm going to post a video at some point here on my second channel um, with the full, like, how all the linkages work down here and all that kind of thing. So if you want to see that, that'll be coming in a couple days. I'll post the link in the description below.
Well, alright everyone, that is it for the tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun building this truck, so maybe we'll do more different vehicles like this at, at some point in the future, because I'm getting a little bit tired of all the cars we've been doing. I still have plenty of car designs coming though, so stay tuned for those. Stay tuned for some more trucks and things, and thank you guys for all the support, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.